Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make the matching earrings to the little fish necklace that we made um, in the last video. Okay, so here it is. I think it turned out super cute. It's the little fish bead using uh, the bead from Sam's Bead Box. And we've got these little hex beads as well from his box. And we've got our bubbles coming up to our fish hook. And then um, it just hangs on the chain. So I thought this turned out really super cute. And we're going to make a pair of earrings matching it. So I'm going to lay that right there. So um, our encouraging word for today is deliberately seek opportunities for kindness, sympathy, and patience. And that is Evelyn Underhill. Okay. Um, so what you're going to need if you want to make these exact earrings are these little, these are check glass free form drops in peach opal luster. Okay. So pretty. And this is again, Sam's bead box. And I will have links in the description box below. And you're going to need these little hexagon beads. These are Czech glass hexagons, Blue River mix. Okay, so we've got those. I've got two fish hooks, two head pins, fairly long head pins. I think these are three inches. Um, I've got these two bead caps that are a little larger and two smaller bead caps, two little um, four millimeter spacers and some jump rings here. So I've got two jump rings that are, I'd say these are 10 millimeter, um, two sixes and two fours. And I meant to pull out the other bead cap that I have on this other one just to make it matching. Let's see if I have any more of those in here. If I don't, I'll just grab a different one, but it needs a bead cap. See how I have these layered? And I think that one was the literally only one I had. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull out a couple others. These are some bead caps just, um, just because I want to layer them to make it look like the tail or the fins in the back of the fish. So these beads, these little fish beads are not, you know, they're not the, the fish beads like this. These are just little drops. But I think that, you know, if you have the necklace on, I think these earrings will convey um, kind of the same vibe as the fish, you know, it'll kind of make sense here in a minute. So let me just get these out of the way, these bead caps. So I have a larger bead cap, a smaller bead cap for inside on the tail, and then these two for in the front. Um, so I'd say this is, fits an eight to 10 millimeter bead, and these would fit like six millimeter beads and fours. Okay, so what we're going to do you're going to need your jewelry tools, of course. So we're going to take our head pin. We are going to put our hex bead on it. And then we're going to put the smaller bead cap and the larger bead cap layered facing down like this. Well, you know what? You cannot even see the smaller bead cap in there. So he's really not needed. I'm just going to take him out. We'll just use this one. Yeah, that'll be fine. Then we're going to put our our uh, drop bead on and I'm going to put it on with the bigger part at the bottom the big round part and the pointier part at the top and then I'm going to put the smaller five petal bead cap on like this with this spacer bead inside of it okay so just like that now I'm going to make a loop so I'm going to bend 90 degrees on my head pin I am going to cut this now you want this loop to be kind of tight. You don't want it to be too loose because you don't really want your beads to flop around a whole lot. Um, but you know, it doesn't have to be super tight, but you just don't want a lot of extra wire in there. And I'm just gonna roll back a loop here. Okay. Just roll back a loop. So there's our loop. So this is meant to kind of mimic this fish, and I know it's not exactly the same, but I think that it will convey what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Just the same exact way. These are super easy. They really didn't even require their own video, but the other video with the necklace went kind of long, so I didn't want to have everybody too worn out by the time. <laughs> that we got to this one. So they're getting their own video. Okay. And we'll go ahead and roll this loop back. 
All right. Now, there we have our two. And make sure these loops are closed up good. See, I didn't get that loop closed up very good. You want to make sure they're closed up good so nothing comes out or comes loose. Just wanting to spin on me. Come on. Good grief. There we go. Having a hard time with that one. It's that bead zone in there. There we go. That's better. Okay. So there they are. Now we're going to recreate our little bubbles. So we're going to take the bigger jump ring, put the medium jump ring on it, and then the small jump ring on it, just like that. Close it up. Actually, we need to put this on it too. Okay, then we're going to close it up. Now we're going to grab the medium jump ring here. You know what? I did that wrong. I'm so sorry. Take the small jump ring off. <laughs> I totally did that wrong. So take your small jump ring off. We didn't mean to do that. We need to hook the small jump ring onto the medium so it will hang kind of inside the loop. All right, so now open your medium jump ring up and put your small jump ring on it. That's what I should have done. Okay, so we're going to put the small jump ring right here, hanging it on the medium jump ring, and then we're just going to put our fish hook on. And if you look, it looks like the little bubble is inside the bigger bubble, kind of like over here. So there's our little matching earring. Now, if you've got things kind of twisted the wrong way, you know, so he's hanging kind of, well, actually, he is turning around and hanging right. So that one's good. Let's go ahead and do our bubbles on the other one since I messed that up. I'll show you all again. So take your large ring, put it right on your fish, and take your medium ring and hang it on there. Okay, and close it up. Let me close this jump ring back where I had had to open him. Okay, now open up your medium jump ring. Hang the small jump ring from it and your fish hook on the top. Close it up. Okay. And there you have it. It just kind of makes the small jump ring look like it's hanging inside the bigger bubble. I don't know. It's kind of cute. Um, and see, we can check this one. So my fish on this one is really not hanging the way I want it to go. So I need it to twist. Actually, they just turn on their own, but if you needed to twist the whole uh, loop here, you could, but he's kind of going to spin around anyway. So really, um, it's kind of the abstract form of this, so it's not a big deal if he spins a little bit. It matches, and that's what we want. So there they are. They're little, um, they're kind of fishy shaped, <laughs> our little guys here, and if you have the necklace on with them, I think that, like I said, I think it will convey that they're the same, you know, going along the same idea, at least matching in the same colors and stuff. So anyway, guys, I will put the information for Sam's bead box in the description box below this video. It is $45 a month plus uh, shipping, but I have a coupon for $5 off your first box. It is Wendy, just W-E-N-D-Y. That'll give you $5 off your first box. And um, Sam's box is awesome. I'll link the unboxing of this one if you want to see it. But it has a lot of check glass and gemstones um, and said the retail value was $80. So pretty good value, I would say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.